you have maybe about like a foot and a half of space above you. Look at that. Oh, I'm getting like some vertigo right now. So I don't know if you guys can tell exactly how freaking dangerous this is. Yo, I definitely have a little bit of dirt in my food because the wind. Hi. So far in my videos, you guys have seen me live in my truck camper, which comes with all of its perks from having a shower to a heater to being able to stand. Voila, what's my next line? <laughs> but today, I'm ditching all of that to live in the back of my boyfriend's truck. And I, I'm not kidding, it's like the bed of a truck. I'm gonna be leaving my camper behind because the area that we're going in Moab is a really rough road with a bunch of like cliffs and drop offs and low hanging boulders and stuff that my truck just won't fit under. So we're taking his. So enough yapping, let's get going. All right, we're gonna let it, the air out. A nice trick that Austin taught me is that you can let some of the air out of your tires and if you're on really bumpy roads like this with a lot of rocks and boulders, it'll absorb some of the impact since it's squishier. Grab like a little pointy rock. There's people driving past right now. It's kinda awkward. Yeah, we're good, thank you. All right, let's see if this is squishy enough. Squishy? Not at all. Okay, that's great. So I'm standing here waiting for the tire to finish and I see a big gorge down there and I'm really curious. I'm going, I'm just going to fast forward the shit. We are really out in this bitch. Gosh, this better be a good view. Oh, oh wow, it's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I'm getting like some vertigo right now. Okay, now back to the truck. Now that the tires are sagging, we're good to go. Are we gonna drive right past what I just ran down to? Are you kidding? Literally. There's the road, that's where I just was. I wonder how often one of these big boulders falls, because you see them all over the place, but it can't be that often or else this road just wouldn't be open. It looks like we're coming up on some water. This motorbike's pulling over, they don't want to do it. Oh, my camera gonna get wet. Ah, that's deep. Woo! Whoa, that was sick. But, oh my, oh, mud splashing on me. Okay. <laughs> I became a victim. It's funny that you see normal cars out here. Last time I was here, there was a rental car, and the lady said, the rental car company said it was four wheel drive, and it wasn't. That's really funny. I had to help her turn around. It's crazy, because where you are, you can't even tell where the next part of the road goes, except for like right in front of you, because it all blends in so well. Oh. Getting bumpy. Okay, let's not go too far. Well, now that I'm out here, it's silent, honestly. Wow. I'm just keeping an eye out for mountain lions, not gonna lie. Doesn't this kind of look like concrete, though? Like, I know it's not, but it even has the lines in it. It's getting kind of wild out here. It's no longer a road, it's more just washes. It's kind of just like, good luck. That was awkward. I was just running up this road to get a shot right here and then these people came around the corner and just looked at me like I was a fucking idiot. So that's fun. Oh. Get it. Hell yeah. Like butter. Wow. Wow. So I don't know if you guys can tell exactly how freaking dangerous this is, but it's awesome. I'm horrified and impressed at the same time. Well, look at the beach down there. So this is our spot. Look at those walls. Crazy. I'm gonna show you guys the size comparison. See? Ginormous. You're not getting up there first. <laughs> oh, look at these boulders. I wanna go climb that. What is my hair right now? Why didn't you guys tell me that it looked like that? I thought we were friends. Oh, you got it. Hell yeah. Getting down's gonna be fun. Yeah, definitely. 
Oh, hi. Back in your hood. Yeah, what? So Alston's truck is right there, and this is the overlook. Damn. So it's not like a straight drop, but if you fell, you'd definitely be tumbling a little bit. Now it's time for my favorite part, setting up camp. Now I'm gonna give you a quick tour, I promise to keep it under 30 seconds, of Austin's truck. Tailgate, bed. Next to the bed, this opens up, it's for his clothes. Under the bed, in the back, there's 30 gallons of water, two extra gas tanks, have windows on both sides of the bed. On the top, there's solar panels. In the back seat, there's a fridge. And then on the other side of the back is where the dogs sleep. And the best part, besides the fact that it drives, is the winch at the front, which I kept calling a winch. A winch just now? I just said that. I thought that's what it's called. You called it a winch at first. That's what I just said. It's not a, it's a winch. winch. See, some confusion. Okay, so you can just tie that bad boy around a rock and pull yourself out. After all that hiking, I've worked up an appetite, so it's time to make dinner. I decided to pack some easy food. There's a bunch of bees out here and they keep flying around and I thought it was because they wanted water. So I offered them water. And then I remembered there's a whole ass river down there for them to drink from. It's looking right at the camera. What do you want from me? I'm go oh, we almost made contact. I'm making aglio, oilio. I'll put it on the screen, okay? You know what? That's what I'm making. Wonderful. Austin had the brilliant idea of going and watching kind of the sunset on the cliff while eating dinner, so that's what we're gonna do. It's kind of a mild pasta, but it actually is yummy. Mm -hmm. Almost has the taste of like garlic bread. It does. Thanks Amazon for the box, I appreciate it. I can feel the heat from all the way over here. Damn. That's crazy. As I was saying, that cardboard box is putting up a fight, but definitely a boss. Yeah, she stood no chance. Fragile, it's real fragile now. The vibes right now are sick. But now, obviously, as you guys can see, it's getting quite dark, so I think we're gonna head inside. The dogs are gonna be sleeping in here, as I mentioned earlier. Um, and then Austin and I are sleeping in the back. It's definitely a tight squeeze, for sure. This is where the ceiling is right here. You have maybe about like a foot and a half of space above you. This window to the front is completely rolled down, but my window is locked. Just in case of an emergency, I can always squeeze through and drive away if I needed to. Peachy, hey. Hey. Oh, hi. Peaches. It's okay, I'm coming. Oh no. <laughs> Super windy out this morning. Oh, yeah, see? All the dust. It's just really dusty and windy. Do we have enough solar power for waffles? My morning's already off to a great start. I went to rinse my pot and then I dumped it. Now look at my shoes and pants. Wonderful. I don't have a bowl, so I made the waffle mix in a pot. Look at her. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Oh. Definitely have a little bit of dirt in my food because the wind this morning. Okay, Austin is nuts and brought me to this area and we're about to do one of the most dangerous looking hikes I've ever seen in my life. Here we go. You're just 
joking. Go. Driving through, but we got to a windy section where all the dust is blowing up kind of in front of us, so it's hard to see at some parts, but it looks really cool. Before we get back, we're getting some propane at this RV park. It's the only place for about a half hour that allows it. Where my camper is, it's really cold and snowing. As you can see, we've already gotten a little bit. So we're back on the way to camp. We got propane, we got everything we needed. It's looking quite snowy already, um, which is not a surprise. I was kind of expecting that. Also, the temperature has dropped a bunch from where we were in Moab. It was like 70 degrees in Moab, right? Mm -hmm. And here it's like 27, I think. So really big difference. I hope Taj is okay. By the way, Taj is the name of my camper. Want to see Taj in the distance? So we're back. Yay, everything is just really wet. Can you get inside? It's cold. As much fun as it was to go out into the middle of nowhere where Taj definitely could not make it, I'm glad to be back home. Oh, where I can actually stand, what a luxury. I also have heat, which is nice, but also I'm not complaining. Going in Austin's truck was so much fun. Like I said, it can get us to some really remote places where Taj can't go. And then also it kind of feels like a mini vacation because I'm always in here, this is my house. So leaving it for a little bit feels like a vacation and then coming back also makes me appreciate having Taj more, if that makes sense. So all around, it's a great experience. But now I think it's time for an outro. Here we go. Alton's putting in the propane tanks right now, so <laughs> just ignore that. It's freaking cold. Well, this is the end of the video, y'all. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. This video was very similar to my last one. It was kind of more just like a kind of a date night. Not really. That wasn't like the intention behind it, but hanging out with my boyfriend. Yeah, it's going to be kind of a date night. I hope that you guys liked it a lot. Um, I'm going to give Austin a sec to get that situated. I don't even know what I was saying, but do I want this hood on or off? Before I go, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who supports the channel on Patreon. Thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate your support. Because of you, I'm able to continue making content and show you all of the beautiful places that the world has to offer. But mainly the US for right now. So thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate it. And an extra special thank you goes to Ronnie Joseph, Stefan Roshanek, The Muggle Hut in Frisco, Texas, Caesar Osorio, Jay Redden, Mark Lippman, Rob Swan, Scott Krutz, Brian Butterfield, Michael Posh, Scott Sweaters, and Britt Saunders. Once again, thank you guys so much for your support. If you would like to join, all the information will be down below in the description, along with other ways that you can support the channel if you would like. I also have OnlyFans and Instagram. My Instagram, I post on pretty frequently. You can kind of see my day-to-day -day life on there. Um, I don't know why my voice is quivering. I'm getting out of breath. It's the elevation, okay? And of course, as always, I want to give a shout out to the Cancer Research Institute. They're doing great work over there. They are doing research on how to train your immune system to fight cancer at its source, which I think is a great cause to support. Um, the reason I'm supporting this cause is because my best friend Millie passed away last year due to cancer. Um, and it was just a really hard process to go through. And I know almost everyone has a personal experience with cancer. So um, I just think it's an overall great cause to support. So if you would like to, I'll leave that link in the description as well. $1, $2, $5, anything helps. It does not need to be a giant donation to make a difference, even though we have raised over seven grand so far. So that's freaking insane. But still, $1 will do the trick. <laughs> you don't need to send a hundred. Peace out. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Take care. Peace. Okay, bye. I don't know what that was.